Hi guys, and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. If you'd like to see more of this, please like and subscribe. And let's get into this. Right, so, mighty. Okay, so, let's see. How about, let's check Fortune Teller. Okay, today... It's not a great luck day. And let's check the little tip show. Right. This one's for you, for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of the town, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Alright. So maybe we'll check that out. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today. Check out an affordable size 24 backpack. So, maybe I'll check that out. But first, I need to water some stuff. Hi. Next episode, these parsnips should be ready to harvest, so that's going to be nice. Oops. And then, this one. And then to fill up your watering can, you just have to find any water source. And you don't have to right click, just left click and bam, it fills it up. Oops. Let's see here. Um, so I believe this is south. I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Okay, so, yeah. You found a geoid. The local blacksmith can break this open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. So what's usually in a geoid? It's usually like an artifact or a mineral that you can give to the museum. So I'll try and do that. Now back here, find Marnie's Ranch. Wait, oh, I forgot which way is south. <laughs> All right, you know, how about we just break, go and break the geoid then? All right. Oh, hello, Shane. Okay. Let's walk with him. <laughs> Super slow. Right, so before we go to Clint the Blacksmith, let's check. Okay, it's nine. Eh, I guess we can just wait a little bit. Oh, talk to a few people. Hmm. We're very lucky to have a, a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the reality. Oh, God. Okay. Don't. That's. Uh, hmm. See if I can. Will anyone notice? No. <laughs> hmm. Right, almost there. And come on. Okay. Alright, so I believe the backpack. Yeah, right here. Ooh, 2000. I do not have that much. Oh, I should have done this a lot earlier. Dang it. Okay. Alright. We're gonna buy some stuff. Actually, wait. You know what I probably could do? Hmm. 10 days. 12. Hmm. What I'll probably do is, in the next episode, when we harvest, and I sell that, then we can buy all of the, um, new stuff. Right. And now we're almost at the box. Um, there's a lot. Hopefully, we'll find something for the library. So it's pretty sad. Right. There is a small fee, but. Right. A slate. I don't know if I've even found that on my main account yet. 
Alright, let's donate this. Oh, what? Cutscene. Abysmal. What? <laughs> Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah, that's pretty sad. But now I can give one. Ah. Uh, What's this? You found something. Let me see it. How do I know you're not going to steal it? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater de detail, but it's yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send you away. So sometimes, oh, think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. But sometimes if you donate certain items, then you get, like, um, hashtag, you get, like, like a gift almost. It's not with every item, but start off the collection. Um, okay, so we got a new journal thing. Archaeology. Oh, so we get a bit of cash. Almost a thousand dollars. Alright. Now we do have this how to win friends thing. So I think I might give someone a gift. I have a gift. Alright. So that minecart is out of order, but there's a way you can fix it up. But that comes into play. Should probably actually come into play next episode. So, yeah. Hmm. All right, and just go here. I feel like the way the game tells you to like sell forageables before you get like you harvest your parsnips is kind of weird because if you just wait till like day two then you can fish which gives you more money and the forageables respawn every day and the fish are infinite. So it's probably best just to, you know, just here, there we go, there we go, here. <gasps> For me, thank you. I'm so I'm going to organize my clip, oh, for God, it makes noise. So, the only reason I did that was kind of for the money, a little bit. <laughs> now, I think I'm gonna, hmm. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll clear out some more farmland. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'll just clear out some farmland. Just gonna check one last thing. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys, um, also. By the way, in this game, you have the achievements, and some of them are hard, but with some achieve, but if you, like, get the achievements, some special stuff can happen. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm thinking of something else, sorry. Never mind. Oh, and if you see this thing, if you try and hit it, it says your axe isn't strong enough to break the stump. So what you can do, you can ask Clint to upgrade it, but I need, I would need, um, like, copper, I think. Yeah, I would need, um, copper ingots, which also means I need a furnace. And the way to get furnace, uh, the furnace recipe, you just have to do something with Clint, and he'll do it too. I kind of forget exactly what it is. I think he just gives it to you on a certain day or something. Oh, wrong thing. 
But yeah. Right. I feel like I've done a pretty good job with clearing out this land because at the beginning, if you remember, it was just like a big clump of junk and stuff. Ooh, our energy is kind of low, so I'll keep an eye on that. Probably won't cut down any more trees. Now, I've said it before and, I say, and I'll say it again. Don't cut down too much of this grass. Because if you get animals later on, you can let them out to graze on it. And if you've cleared a bunch of your grass, you have to buy grass starter from gear. And that's pretty pricey. Now, I think right now... Oh, inventory's full. Trash that. Alright. Right now, I think I'm just going to take the thumbnail quick. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. Now, maybe we can make it to Clinton time and see if he actually can give us that recipe. I'm going to try. Closes it for. It's going to be tight. Come on. <laughs> 340. We only got like 20 seconds. Oh, okay. We might not make it. I'm not sure though. Come on. Can do it. 340. Oh. Oh. That was pretty close. Now. Yeah. You need the bars and a bunch of money. So, I wonder if I, like, buy some copper from him, if that'll trigger the thing to do it. You might have to unlock the mines and get it from there. I'm not entirely sure, though. No, I'm gonna fish a bit. See if we get anything. Mm -mm. Oh, I missed one. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Ah. Uh. Algae. See if we can get anything other than junk or whatever. Well, you can't eat it for energy and health, but but health only comes into play once you unlock the mines. Oh, there's a real fish. <laughs> Alright. Small not fast. Wait. Oh, the other day Clint was asking for one of those. And now I kind of wish I took the thing. <laughs> yeah. I think I just saw his, his dog's eyes look like a vampire. Sure. Let's see. You know what I'll do? Head back. I might. No, I can't do that. Anymore. Don't have enough energy. Oh, and by the way, I'll probably post another Stardew Valley today. And then we will see our first harvest. Now, let's just throw all that in there. Alright, and now we know that the chub. Same thing now. I'm just gonna keep the small mouth fast. 
I don't know why, but I just feel like I should. Now to end off that, I think I'm going to cut down this tree. But I do have to be careful, because if you run out of energy, then you, like, pass out, and bad stuff happens. You know what I'll do? Just so I don't end up back in party in the like, I'm just gonna eat that for the energy. It does actually boost it. <laughs> it's a little funny. Right. And what's the weather gonna be tomorrow? Oh, rain. Uh, first harvest. Done. That's a little upsetting. Eh. Now I wonder if we... Oh nice, we got a heart with George. So that just means like we're friends, kind of. And if you get higher up in the heart system, they can start to give you gifts like consumables or recipes. But I'm just going to go sleep here today. Then let's see what we made from the tr Okay, 100. Maybe we could get the backpack soon. But I kind of want to buy the more um, stuff. stuff. Alright, and let's head outside. Oh no, a uh, thing. No one read this, no one read this, no one read this. So that's where, you know, I think I actually might. Yeah, no. That's where I'm going to end off this video. Now, see you next time. Bye.